before we begin this video, please subscribe right now and click the notification bell to get news on Asante Tech Protocol. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Daily Porcupine. Good morning, I'm your host Clinton Leto. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now and hit the notification bell. Today we'll be talking about transfer stories again. Today we'll be talking about Solomon Safo Taylor. I know most of you know that guy. The name sounds familiar, even if you don't know that guy. So the time him and Rusty Taylor was um, turning the league apart. I'm talking about a special competition. Both of them were extraordinary both players were extraordinary they were very very good during the special competition after the um, Ghana if it was dissolved following the Anas um, expose number two of expose but let's not talk about that let's talk about Solomon Safo Taylor do you know that Kotoko paid 50,000 Ghana cities for the services of Solomon Safo Taylor from Karela United to Asante Kotoko even members from the club team management team confirmed that he has signed for Kotoko they went to radio stations to tell everybody that Solomon Safu Taylor has signed for Asante Kotoko but what happened Karela United went and sell the player to another club just as if they were negotiating with another club and they were also negotiating with Kotoko in case um, the club abroad from Denmark actually the Denmark club doesn't work then Kotoko is the plan B so while they were ne negotiating with both teams the one from Denmark worked. Kotoko have already paid 50,000 Ghana cities for this guy. So when Kotoko paid the money, Kotoko were expecting Solomon Safo Taylor to travel to Kumasi to sign the deal and confirm or complete his transfer from Kerala United to Asante Kotoko. Kotoko have paid this money. So Kotoko waited and Solomon Safo Taylor wasn't coming. Kerala United also wasn't talking anything about it until the player left the country. Then Kotoko realized that this player is no longer in Ghana he's left the country and he's gone to Denmark so Karela United received the payment from Denmark and they used that money to refund Kotoko back the 50,000 Ghana cities Kotoko paid so they used Kotoko as plan B in case it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and it didn't work out for Kotoko it worked out for the club abroad abroad and someone Safo Taylor traveled abroad that was 2019 now we are in what 2021 right we are in 2021 and he's back in ghana as a free agent his contract expired and he's back in ghana and reports are stating that this player is on the verge of signing a contract with kotoko personally i'm not a fan of this contract talks most of you might disagree with me no problem personally i'm not a fan of this because it shows that the player disrespected kotoko you have shown interest yes i'm coming to kotoko and last minute you disappeared and you've gone out you want to go abroad now you've gone abroad it didn't work out now you want to come back and settle for Kotoko as a small club right you think Kotoko is a small club that is why I feel because they disrespected Kotoko and he's coming back and he wants to get the contract like take it as if it's a trophy no personally I think if this is true that he's actually um, going having contract negotiations with Kotoko if this is true personally I think he should put on trials he should train with the boys for like a week or two before they give give him a permanent contract because or if they give him a contract based on performances if you play 10 games 20 games and you don't perform we have the right to terminate your contract without paying you yes that that should be the contract Kotoko should be handing these players because you know, sometimes before they go out they perform very well and they go outside and when they get rejected abroad when they come back their morale dies and they don't have that zeal to perform anymore Do you understand what i'm saying because i feel the, the spirit they had, like the energy they had to perform before they go abroad, once they get rejected or things don't work out for them abroad, when they come back to Ghana, they don't have that desire. Most of them don't have that desire anymore. So signing for a club, a big club, is just for the money to survive, not because they want to impress you or impress anyone. It's just like a uh, plan B. If things don't work out, I'll just go to Ghana and every Ghanaian club will rush me because I was once a star player was once and not anymore you know what i'm saying this is that because we have strikers right now we have Komi pepra we have the tachi back and we also have the um, what's his name uh benjamin the benjamin guy um which is me talked about we also have that guy so we have like three strikers we have players that are in the ghana premier league right now that are booming we know that they are performing and we know that if you bring them to the league they still have that desire to impress 
We don't know what Solomon Sahutil has been playing in Denmark. We don't know his stats. We don't know his performance. We didn't scout him. He just came back to Ghana and we want to give him a contract. No, I think Kotoko should think about this twice. That's if reports are, um, are, are through that Kotoko are actually offering a contract, they should think this through because I feel that we shouldn't rush and hand him a contract because of what he did in the past. That was 2019 or 2018, years back. He cannot be the same player. He may not be the same player right now. So it's only wise we evaluate the player before handing him a contract. So giving him a contract without evaluating him, I think, would be the wrong choice. While we have Kwame Pepper who has been on fire for King Faisal, we have Tachu Obe who has been on fire for um, the Division One club, and we also have the Benjamin guy Johnson Smith talked about because he saw him play and he knows what he's capable of. Now we don't know what Solomon Safu Taylor is capable of. So we should calm down, evaluate the situation, call him and say, we would like to offer you a contract, but we have to evaluate you to see if you still got it like if you're still a good player you train with the team for a week or two weeks to see if you're good then if the coach or the technical team are impressed with your performance we give you a contract or if they don't want to train him or try us because of time there's no time for him to go undergo trials then let him sign a pre-contract that states that if you don't perform in social games we have the right to terminate your contract and if we do that we don't have to pay you off or anything but if it passes 10 days or 10 games and you play very well uh, it will trigger another main contract that would give you some money and increase your bonus and all that all this contract enticing stuff so personally Kotoko might decide to hand him the contract without even trying him but me personally I think he should go on trials for like a week or two before Kotoko give him a new contract or a contract for him to sign for the club because I don't trust players that go abroad two years, one year, they come back and settle for the league. I don't trust players like that. So um, if Kotoko are really interested in him, I suggest that we give him trials before we sign him. But if he's good, if at all I'm wrong and his performances and his style, his skill are still there and he's back in Ghana and Kotoko is signing him, no problem. Willingly accept him. but. He shouldn't use Kotoko as a backup plan and say, ah, oh, we'll just play anything as far as the, um, 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 I've been playing in Ghana and I played very well. My name, only my name will give me a contract and he will just come to Kotoko and he, he, he feels like he, he doesn't have anything to prove to the fans or to Kotoko. No, we need players that are willing to fight for the club. So if you're using Kotoko as a plan B, retirement plan, no, 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 no. no. So I feel that we should give him trials before we sign, before we give him a contract, permanent contract to sign. So I think that is what Kotoko should do. I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about this, Solomon Safu Taylor? Do you think Kotoko should hand him contract? Because most of you, I tweeted this a few days ago, was it yesterday? I tweeted this and most of you feel that he's still a good player and Kotoko should sign him. So what are your thoughts? Do you think Kotoko should sign him or we should give him trials? Because that's what I think. We should give him like a week or two weeks trials before we sign, before he signs a permanent contract to see why things didn't work out for him and bro. So I would like to know your thoughts and I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed, try right now and hit the notification bell. Till next time guys, goodbye.